how would you feel as a figure skater right now if you were going to go compete in the Olympics in Beijing, knowing that, you know, unfortunately we have this last minute crazy surge of COVID that is now making everyone pretty worried about just even testing positive on the way in or whatever, all the bubble, all that kind of stuff. Like just even getting to the Olympics, like how would you feel right now? I mean, I would feel very nervous. I mean, obviously it's going to be a different type of an Olympics. Um, you know, we went to Tokyo, which you were there and it's incredible. I mean, the best part is, is that these athletes are able to live out their dreams, their Olympic dreams and, but it's still very different. So there's probably a little sadness um, in that for the athletes. Uh, you know, you never know how many more Olympics that you'll get. And I think, you know, beyond that, just, you know, maybe even worried about getting there, as you mentioned, because I'm just, I hold my, <laughs> my, myself up in this house because if I test positive, I can't go to nationals. I can't go to the Olympics. And, but imagine what's at stake for these athletes that have worked their whole life for this moment. And, you know, now with a variant that is so extremely contagious, you, how yeah. do you know that just you test and it's, it's positive and you can't go. So I, I think that, you know, there's, there's so many different, um, you know, different things that these athletes are going to be dealing with going into the Olympics. And even while they're there, you know, you don't have your, your family that, or your friends to support you. And, you know, that was a big thing for, for me, knowing that at, at that moment in time, when I stepped on the ice somewhere in that arena, my mom and dad were there cheering me on. So there's there's so many um, things that they're they're having to adapt to and and just flow with, which is is difficult because it's the most pressure filled time of their lives to begin with. 